Welcome back. We've got our men's basketball coach standing by with Mike Joseph. Here's Mike. Thanks, Gary. I'm here with Coach O'Hanlon, men's basketball coach. Coach, uh, just a great career so far going into your 23rd season. Let's talk a little bit about the team you have now. Obviously, you have one win under your belt. Tell me what you like about this team and obviously coming out of the gate. I like their grit. I like how hard they're working. I mean, they got a good basketball culture. They're in the gym. They work at it. We're trying to find our identity right now. You know, uh, we have probably 11, 12 guys that all can play. There's not as much separation as you would like, uh, but they all can play and they all can help us. And, uh, and as I said, we're trying to figure out the identity, what we're gonna, who we're going to be come, come league. And that obviously plays into your system a little bit, a chance for all the guys to get a chance. You have two nice young freshman guard slash two guys that can run around and athleticism looks like you brought in a lot of athleticism this year in this class yeah they're very athletic and then we have the kid sean good who is also he's 6 11 he's he's a pretty good athlete he can block shots he's got a he just got to learn the college game a little bit i'm trying to get him some time uh and bring him along uh but i i do like the group and i think that uh, i think we're going to get better and better as the season unwinds uh, unfolds i would say uh it's just that uh we have a tough non-league when I mean, we we play our fourth game on the road uh, out of five. When don't you have a tough non-league game? Well, you're right about that. I, uh, I, I, th it doesn't happen. But uh, anyway, hopefully it prepares as well as we get into the season. Right. Um, let's talk about a little bit about how, how has the game changed a little bit? You've been here a long time. Twenty. How has the game changed? I know obviously it's more of a perimeter kind of game, not as much of one big man inside. But having a guy that you do have inside can do a lot of things. Yeah, I mean, you need at times just to go inside and be able to score on the block. Uh, you know, uh, in the old adage, you live by the three, you die by the three. But that being said, it has become such a perimeter game or that, that people try to get threes. Uh, right now, how it's changed that everybody's trying to chase other players, your players off the three-point line, trying to force them inside, trying to get them to the uh, hole. And, uh, and, that's, uh, and it's physical. It gets more physical, it seems like, every year. Um, you know, it's a, it's a, and the parity, and I think that if I were going to say how the game has changed, there's so many good teams anymore. I mean, you just saw the other day, Furman comes in and beats Villanova. I mean, it just goes right on down the line. So you, can, you really can't obviously take time off or anything like that. This weekend, you had a special team on campus, the 1998-99 team, obviously, uh, a team that's near and dear to your heart. What was that like to have them back, and why was that team so special? Well, it was it was awesome to see them all back here and and have had so much success in their in their personal lives and haven't done very well. But you know, you know, thinking back to the memories, it, it was such a deep team. And uh, when you talk about deep, it was hard to separate because we had guys that, you know, after they didn't maybe they didn't play the first or second year, were all league players. I mean, we went 11, 12 deep of really good players. You had all league players on your bench. <laughs> exactly, and uh, and it was it was awesome. To, uh, to have that kind of depth and that competition in practice. We had really good leaders. You know, one of them's in the house tonight, Ted Cole, who was a terrific leader for us. But uh, they they had such a winning culture to them. And uh, and it was just fun to see them this weekend. I congratulate them on, on their success and being in the Hall of Fame. And I think a lot of them are Hall of Famers on their own. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, real before we go here, let's do a quick rapid fire. Give me a quick, quick answer. Your favorite moment here on the Hill in 23 years. I think any of the uh, championship moments when we had those championship games, they were just so special. I mean, the energy in this building was, was tremendous. I guess that wasn't as fast as you would like, but that's what I would say. Okay, you've heard of Twitter, right? What was your last tweet? Oh, my goodness. Uh, I don't, or do you know how to tweet? Because I don't. I do. I have done some things, but uh, I, I probably retweet more than I tweet. <laughs> and what are you going to do for Thanksgiving? Well, I'm going to eat a lot of turkey, as I normally do, and, uh, and just enjoy it at home. Coach, thanks for a couple minutes. Really appreciate it. All right, thank you. Gary, back to you. John and I were tweeting while you were talking, so uh, yeah, always <laughs> good to hear from the coach.